And all right, I'm back. We got ourselves some Belching Beaver today. Belching Beaver Brewing. And we got In Circles Hazy IPA right here. Coming in at uh, 7%. You can see down at the bottom. And it looks like we got the good old beaver getting conked in the head by some uh, hop cones there. It looks like it got brewed with Yakima Chief hops, which is actually right here in my city. And my dad works there, so that's cool. Um, and it has the cryo pop blend right there. That's a, um, a blend of hops that they uh, blended together and then used. So that's cool. Let's see if they give us any info. In Circles Hazy IPA brewed with cryo pop original blend, Laurel brand T90 pellets, Equinot cryo hops pellets, Sabro cryo hops pellets. Idaho 7 T90 pellets. Okay, so there's a little bit of uh, info for the brewers out there. All right, let's crack this one. And got one of my favorite IPA glasses here. We'll get a look at this color and then we'll give it a whiff and we'll give it a sip. All right. And that looks pretty good there. Ooh, looks like we got some floaties. Do not let floaties in, <laughs> in your craft beer deter you. It's just um, yeast that's pretty much been completely utilized. Um, yeast eats sugar and converts it into alcohol, and that's just yeast floating around in there. Pay it no mind. All right, so I still have just minor congestion, so the nose isn't all there. But this one just has some nice fruit aromas coming off the top maybe like an orange or something like that it's not quite as zingy as like grapefruit or or a lemon a little bit of sweeter citrus okay this one's quite crisp actually i would say it does have a little bit more zingy citrus on the palate and then there's a little bit of pine mixed in there as well very nice though Kind of low bitterness. All right, let's get into it. I've been seeing a lot of end of the year lists and best soaps, best razors, whatever. <clears throat> I didn't put together a list, but I will tell you, a lot of people, oh, how they have forgotten. <laughs> a lot of people putting out these lists they're bigging up scents that were in the back half of the year. You know, kind of a shallow memory, only bigging up the stuff that they had lately. And that might be their favorite stuff, I'm just saying. This is outside looking in. But oh, how they have forgotten. Barrister and Man's Full Measure of Man. This right here, to me, as far as I can remember. Now, I didn't, I didn't do like a deep a deep dive on everything I've tried this year but full measure of man this shit right here in my opinion best scent of the year in wet shaving came out I believe in January or February and I did confirm it with Will just to make sure I wasn't crazy best scent of the year in my opinion <clears throat> beautiful label uh, side label is nice as well this one's in the Excelsior soap base you can see that right there but just beautiful label. I love how the gold pops. And even as you get closer, you can kind of see the, the red on red in the background. There's a look at the soap and how I scooped it. A very smooth pour. And we got it lathered up already. And the Lancaster Razor Works Shave Bowl. Got a nice, creamy, luxurious looking lather. Beautiful bowl right there. Staple of my daily shaves. And we're also going to be using the Lancaster Razor Works brush. This one right here is part of my Four Horsemen of the Apocalypse collection. And I call this one Death because Death arrived on a pale green horse. And it's a tall, slender silhouette with flutes on the top and flutes on the bottom. And <laughs> this is just a one of a kind in the wet shaving world. This brush is killer. 
I love it. And it's got my favorite Badger knot on top, the Lancaster V1 knot. Still, at the end of 2021, the Lancaster V1, still my favorite um, Badger knot. <clears throat> I've had multiple hand tied options. I've had multiple competitors. Um, I've tried their offerings. Still my favorite one. Just fits my preferences perfectly. And that brush, as a result, my favorite brush in my collection. Fucking beautiful brush. And green ain't even really my color. It's just the concept and the execution is of such magnitude that I just have to appreciate it just a hair more than everything else in my collection. It's fucking great in my opinion. <clears throat> All right, so let's talk a little bit about this so-called best scent of 2021. So, Bear Stern Man, they had yet to release a tobacco scent, or at least a scent where tobacco, you know, played a prominent role in the scent. And when this one came out, it was received with, you know, a fair amount of hype. People were excited for it. And um, for me, I love tobacco scents. But for me, what really got me excited was the addition of the Moose to Sax scent note. Or scent accord, I should say. <clears throat> and Moose to Sax if you do not know, is this rich, leathery, very masculine and gentlemanly scent note. I absolutely love it. I'm painting just a little bit more water in because I think people make a lot of mistakes when it comes to Excelsior, just not giving it the water that it demands. <clears throat> And um, so yeah, this tobacco um, forward fragrance that um, I was gonna say Bill, <laughs> but Will from Barrister and Man came up with, it also is very prominent with Moose to Sax. So it's cured tobacco, kind of like a cigar tobacco um, that has been aged and cured. It has a earthy spiciness to it. It's not, it's not sweet and it's definitely not fresh and green. So it's a cured aged tobacco type vibe, kind of like aged tobacco leaf, you know. It actually has that earthy spiciness to it. And then there's uh, sandalwood, mousse sacs, and it just names a general citrus, vanilla, resins, myrrh, and geranium to round it out. And so as you can imagine, with some of those scent notes, this right here is a very rich, gentlemanly, definitely masculine type vibe. And if you have not got your nose on this one, I definitely recommend it. It's actually um, a, a total crime that a EDP has not been offered. And I know alcohol supply is short because of COVID and all that, but I'm telling you what, priorities, man. We gotta get, we gotta get ourselves a Full measure of man, EDP, EDT, whatever, uh, ASAP, <laughs> whenever it comes out. All right, we're going to be using the good old Double Duck Gold Edge today. And this beautiful vintage razor I had honed up by my buddy Lather Me Whiskers, the pirate of wet shaving, the one true pirate of wet shaving, Captain Lather Me Whiskers. His edge is on this one, and this is actually my favorite edge on any straight razor I have. And um, it's not just because he's a buddy of mine. I actually, I actually um, have been very impressed by this edge. I don't use it all the time. I do like to keep a uh, a nice rotation with my razors, and also I like to be matchy matchy for shave of the day photos and. A good old gold edge doesn't always match perfectly with everything. So, you know, you don't see it 
in every shave that I do, but trust me when I say the edge on this one, the edge from Lather Me Whiskers, is top notch. Uh, if memory serves correctly, I believe it is a JNet edge. And the way I would describe it, it definitely has a little bit of that toothy sharpness, but it doesn't feel so sharp that it's uncomfortable. You know, it feels like a laser, but there's no roughness. It's not uncomfortable in any way. It's not harsh as a result of that sharpness. Kind of like when you get like a feather blade and some people say that feather blades on their first use, they're a little bit, um, they're a little bit harsh, you know, cause they're just so damn sharp, supposedly. Well, this one here definitely feels like it has a bit of that sticky sharpness, but it definitely doesn't come across as harsh. Feels good, in my opinion. And I don't know how many people have tried Lather Me Whiskers Edge. Uh, it might be a bit, a bit, a bit of a niche topic here, but I'm telling you, if you do need homework and the captain is available, I would, uh, I would hit him up because he's a damn good honemeister. I'm gonna take a drink mid pass. So let me know. <clears throat> if you are uh, in agreement with me, my opinion, with full measure of man, let me know if you uh, totally forgot about it since it was released so early in the year. Let me know if you disagree. Uh, totally fine. Everybody, I mean, these lists are subjective. I just kind of found it funny that a lot of the earlier releases I wasn't seeing. A lot of the releases earlier in the year I wasn't seeing. And I was kind of a little bit uh, taken back by that. I was like, hmm, how quickly they forget. <laughs> how quickly they forget these fantastic scents. And I don't blame anybody. We get we get you know hit over the head with release after release after release all year long, and so some things are just gonna fall through the cracks. I just think something of this majesty, <laughs> something that is so good, like full measure of man. How could you forget about it? <laughs> how could you possibly forget about something this fucking good? <laughs> I just don't get it. It's actually inexcusable, <laughs> in my opinion. <clears throat> and I'm sure there are other uh, scents out there that you guys hold dear and you're probably thinking the same thing um, about those scents. But this one right here, I mean, Vespers is still my number one scent in all of wet shaving across all time. But this one right here, for me, it might be my number two scent in all of wet shaving across all time. Like it would be like on my personal Mount Rushmore of wet shaving scents. It's that it's that good, and I hold it in that you know high of regard, in my opinion. And just get a look at that dense, creamy lather. I know people are all sprung on the new omnibus soap base but I still stand by stand by my statements I said I don't really think omnibus is better than Excelsior I just think it's equal but slightly different really not it's really it's not volumes different either it's they're more they're more alike than they are different I'll put it that way so, that's just my two cents. I, I know everybody's 
in the honeymoon phase with Omnibus, but you know, I'll be quick to say I don't think it's I don't think it's leaps and bounds different, and I don't think it's leaps and bounds better. I'd say it's different but equal, and it's barely different. <laughs> All right, <clears throat> let's get this against the grain going. Definitely doing a lot more, a lot more talking than we are shaving. And that is kind of the norm here, so. <laughs> so this will be uploaded early New Year's Eve. I'm shaving um, on Thursday night, so. Keep that in mind, not that it matters, but this will be uploaded <clears throat> New Year's Eve, so you'll be able to get my opinions on the actual last day of 2021. The only reason I did it this way instead of actually doing it tomorrow is because I will probably be neck deep in alcohol celebrating with friends and family and just being merry and having a good old time. So, and um, let me know if you guys have any New Year's Eve plans or if you're planning on just keeping it simple. Do you even plan on staying up till midnight? I don't know. Let me know. <clears throat> I don't really have plans set in stone, but uh, <clears throat> as per usual, I usually end up into some sort of some sort of mischief one way or another. <clears throat> Very nice. Definitely enjoying this edge. Enjoying this fragrance that's just filling my bathroom. This is one of those scents that I would uh, quite literally buy a whole product line of. If they had full measure man and candles, I would buy it. Perfume, I would buy it. Deodorant, I would buy it. Like, I bought the uh, bath soap of full measure man and Barrister and Man has a killer bath bar by the way bath soap <clears throat> just absolutely amazing I know that they tweaked it and so I'm gonna need to uh, gonna need to pick up their new bath soap formula that'll give me a reason to buy uh, some more of their bath soaps not that I'm not that I have any shortage but <clears throat> I I only have the old formula so I do need to uh, you need to give the new formula a try. All right. I think we got her whooped. Very nice shave there. Looks pretty uh pretty good to me. I think we had a flawless shave. Go ahead and take a swig here. Let's go ahead and do a quick rinse off and then we will then we will get the aftershave going and let you guys go. <clears throat> All right. So, definitely let me know what your best sense of 2021 are. I would be curious to know. I know the content creators are pushing out their best of 2021 list, but um, I'm always curious to see what the uh, greater what shaving community thinks, if they're in a, a grants, or if their tastes actually do vary. <clears throat> Going with Lancaster Red today. All right, and that that scent, even as I'm wiping it off. 
it's still just radiating off the skin. I'm not saying this one is like super bold and banging high scent strength. It's probably, you know, five, six out of 10, which is respectable, but it's of, it has like that such richness, such richness <laughs> that uh, I feel like it's keeps the, the nose entertained <clears throat> and you don't go, you don't go um, nose blind to it because it's so good. All right. Definitely gonna have to do a little bit of a <clears throat> off camera beard work there. A lot of lather still in there, but let's go ahead and move on to the matching aftershave splash. Still with the gold over crimson or gold over mahogany, whatever you want to call that. Just a beautiful, beautiful artwork. And uh, it really lends to, you know, the whole package and experience when it comes to um, full measure of man. Absolute class, luxury, masculine, gentlemanly. Oh, hell yeah. Absolute travesty we don't have a matching perfume for this. Absolute tragedy. That was one hell of a good shave. That is how you end 2021 right there in high fashion. All right, guys. Thank you guys for watching. It's been a hell of a year. I appreciate everybody who's been along from the beginning. I appreciate everybody who's came along for the ride along the way. Um, never forget, I appreciate you guys. Thank you for watching and supporting the channel, and I will catch you guys on the next one. Cheers.